Hey, how you doing? This is Paul Mindy Boys. Going to talk about our, I guess, part one of our new Top Gun Jet Semi build for 2016 season. This is, of course, the power plant for our new truck. It is a Pratt Whitney F100-200 engine. Came out of an F14 slash F16. This particular one came out of an F16 out of the Fargo National Guard. Uh, we got it from the Fargo Air Museum up there. Been looking at this engine for a couple years. Finally talked about it, getting rid of it. Basically, this cost the taxpayers back in the day $11.6 million. Hard to believe. Again, 29,000 pounds of thrust, 58,000 horsepower. Most powerful jet truck, that's basically the best powerful jet vehicle sans a land speed car I've ever built. It is going to be really cool. You can't wait to see the horsepower. We can see the back end of this thing, the tailpipe and everything else. Really impressive. All ink and all, all high end stuff. I said, a really, really cool engine. For this build, we started off with all brand new parts. Brand new International Lone Star Hood for 2016. This is a brand new takeoff cab from a 4300, which is actually the same as the Lone Star. Uh, and we're doing something a little different than any other jet truck that's ever been built. If you look inside here, you can kind of see the start of the dashboard off the main frame rail here, or excuse me, uh, main hoop here off the cab. It's actually going to be what they call a center steer truck. The driver is going to sit exactly in the center of the cab, not to the left, not to the right, like a passenger or driver, it's going to be right in the center. That's going to be a lot safer, it gives you a, a lot more crush area around the cab in case anything wrong happens, you get upside down or something like that. Also makes your line of sight really a lot better, you're driving right down the middle um, and, and just straight ahead. And as far as looking out, we'll have mirrors on both sides, plus we'll have cameras uh, for the rear and everything like that, so we'll be able to see everything around us. It's going to be really, really unique, uh, being again, it's the first one ever like this ever built. Here you can see our brand new hood. We use a lot of brand new parts. I think we spent about $30,000 on new parts alone just from International. Uh, pretty crazy, but it's going to be a really, like I said, a really neat build, all brand new stuff. Here, of course, are the guns that we're going to use. These are uh, uh, what they call, um, I guess you call them like almost like fake 50 caliber, but what they do is they actually shoot a liquid ox or excuse me, compressed oxygen and propane. It sounds just like a 50 caliber. We're going to have one in each fender on it right here. Top Gun theme. It's going to be kind of a basically a cross between an aircraft and a truck. It's going to have, of course, the guns in the front. It's going to have a, a wrap uh, with the teeth on it, similar to what a, a, a Spitfire would look or a P 51 Mustang with the teeth on it, even like an F 86. Uh, some of the ones you see there with the really shiny aluminum with the teeth on it and stuff like that. It's going to look really, really neat. We're actually having uh, on, on the very back, we're actually having a stabilizer fin off an aircraft, too, for the back. Yeah, that's going to look really cool, make it look really, really big. This thing being over 30 feet long, it seems to be really, really impressive. You can see the start here is the main frame rail. Uh, we'll start with the 2 by uh, 8 frame rail. It's like I said, it's basically the start right now. We'll have this thing probably our next, uh, in our next uh, installment here in a week or so. It's going to look quite a bit more, more forward uh, progress on and stuff like that. So it's going to look really, really cool. Uh, over here, you can kind of see some of the new parts we've got coming for it too. So this is what $30,000 of the parts looks like. Like I said, we're using all new uh, components for it, new bumper, new fender, inner fenders, new grill, all the new chrome. I mean, this is only half the grill. This is $1,000 alone, go figure. But it's just amazing how much some stuff costs new, but to make something that's gonna be really cool and it's, as unique as this thing is, it's gonna look really, really spectacular. Let's new stuff on it. Instead of using the old kind of wore out parts, we're going with all brand new stuff. It is gonna be really, really cool. You know, here we got the, also for our drivetrain, in keeping with our new build, here we have our, these just showed up, I cut them open here, but Ooh, cool. Thanks, shiny. Brand new wheels and tires. These are been cut down. Uh, what we do is we have them buffed off. What they do is take all the tread off them, lightens the wheel, or lightens the tire up quite a bit so it doesn't, you know, come apart at high speeds. I said to use all new Hub Pilot wheels, which are the best kind out there, uh, with new adapters, uh, brand new tires, the only way to go instead of using used tires like some people do. We don't do that stuff. All brand new stuff. We also have a new trailer coming for this uh, truck and for the bus actually. It's really kind of unique being it's, it's kind of a half open, half enclosed, but you can kind of see it kind of grinds the old drag race trailers. Um, that people can still see the vehicle on it, but still has storage in the front and stuff like that. All aluminum, triple axle, 
um, close to a $100,000 trailer, but like I said, we're maybe making a commitment on this new project for the truck. You know, we're spending almost $200,000 on new parts between the engine and um, sheet metal and all the stuff involved with this and the trailer. It's just like you see, a really, really big investment that we're making on this thing, so it's definitely going to come through. Um, it's going to be impressive looking. Like I said, this trailer is going to be one of a kind. Not seeing anything like it. Go do you know school displays at our bus or even displays with the truck at dealerships and stuff like that and events. It's really going to be really, really cool. So can't wait to get our next uh, installment here. A lot more progress uh, going forward here, and we'll see you then.